Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Today's Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing is a reptiles theme for a boy five to nine. And on the inside lid of his shoebox, I've decorated it with a couple of dinosaur valentines and, and I put some emoji stickers in the middle because there were holes in the valentines where you were supposed to uh, tie string around some dinosaur erasers that came with these and tie them to the valentine. So I covered up the holes with the stickers. <laughs> On top he's got a backpack. I got this for a dollar after uh, back to school clearance at Walmart. It's a full size, well it's like a medium sized backpack. So it's perfect for a five to nine in black and gray. On top he's got uh, another one of my favorite finds from Goodwill. A brand new or new with tags, like new with tags I should say. Um, Gantz Gecko, and he's very, very, it's one of those Webkins, very soft, squishy and cuddly. Love the Gecko. And I also included Michelangelo Ninja Turtle. This is a teeny tie. I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree a while back. He also has a transformer. This is Grimlock. He changes from a robot, well, he is a robot. He changes from a man robot into a dinobot. And uh, he came in this form, and I changed him into the dinobot um, for two reasons. One, I wanted to see if I could change him without having to read the instructions and could just do it by the illustrations. And I was able to pretty easily. So I think um, this young boy would be able to do the same, hopefully. And uh, I included the Dinobot because Dinosaurs, and a lot of people don't know that dinosaurs or reptiles, or most of them were, and this particular dinosaur was a reptile, so I included him in this shoebox. And I got this at Walgreens after Christmas clearance for $1.39, the Transformer. Grimlock, if I didn't say his name already. So in his soap dish, which I get these uh, three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, He's got soap and a nail clipper. I tucked in there a uh, lip balm. And then he's got some lenticular valentines, so a couple of funny animals with glasses and bow ties, and a couple of trolls, and a couple of spirit horses. So he's got those. I think a uh, a little boy would enjoy those lenticular valentines. He's got an outfit. This is like turned out to be one of my favorite outfits. I purchased this bright orange t-shirt at the Dollar Tree, a Gildan brand t-shirt uh, for a dollar last, probably last summer and I didn't have any idea what I was gonna do with it. It was a youth medium. And then I found these shorts a couple of months later at Walmart for a dollar on clearance with this same orange color in it and the gecko in the print. And that's when I knew I was gonna do this Reptiles box. Actually, in the very bottom of the box is what what really started this this reptiles box. Um, but when I saw that, I knew it would be perfect for this box, and I knew it would match that T-shirt. So he's got that outfit, and then also 
from Walmart clearance. A six pack of socks. I pulled out two in colors that would go with his outfit, the orange and black and the yellow and black. Those six for a dollar clearance. And also a couple pairs of tidy whities Got two pairs of Hanes briefs. I probably paid similar price uh, for a six pack. Um, these are the boys size that'll fit five to nine and um, either a dollar or two dollars for a six pack. I think I paid for those. I tucked in there a mask I recently got at Walmart on clearance in a three pack for a dollar and I've got a haul coming up with those and from the Dollar Tree I found this this was a while back I found this wood snake they may still have them but he, he the way he moves is almost realistic and I think this boy would enjoy that snake I also found from the Dollar Tree for a dollar is this realistic looking lizard that real, kind of real looking that was a buck and keeping in theme with the reptiles, we've got a couple of crock rods from the Dollar Tree. I got these uh, at two different times. I got a gold one and then I found a blue one. So I put them both in here so he can race them. He's got a spiral notebook, 10 cents after back to school clearance from Walmart. And I found this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's um, uh, color by number. It's got cute animals in it, but the very first page has a gecko. And then the other animals are just, you know, real cute animals. Beavers and llamas and squirrel, narwhal, that sort of thing. And then every page has this same chart to color by number. So it, it tells you what color to color these. But since it's in English, I took, and the chart is the same on every single page. So I took the, the chart on the first page and I colored next to each color using the crayons that are in this box, what the colors are. So he can either use that as a guide or just color it the way he wants. So that was a buck from the Dollar Tree. And then these crayons, these were a really good deal at Walmart after back to school. These were a 30 pack of 24 count crayons for $4.50 on clearance. So that was 15 cents per pack. I've never gotten them that cheap before. That was a deal. I hope to find that deal again next year. I tucked in there a few funny um, finger puppets. These are those silicone finger puppets you, I got in um, the Valentine's at, from Walmart after Valentine's Day clearance. There was uh, eight in a pack for like 24 cents. And so I think those would be fun for a five to nine year old boy and a bouncy ball. I get these in bulk on Amazon. That was about 55 to 60 cents. And a whistle on, your, on a lanyard. These also in bulk from Amazon. That was about 40 cents, I think, is what that cost. And he's got a LED flashlight. This I got at Harbor Freight for 59 cents with a coupon, and it came with three batteries in it already and then I put some uh, package of replacement batteries it has four but so it just has an extra one rather than open the package I just included the whole pack I got these we're used to get these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar I don't see the Sunbeam one ones anymore although I've, I've seen ever ready there but those don't come in a three or four pack those are a two pack um, it's got a toothbrush with a uh, cover, a nice quality washcloth. I get these at Costco, 50 cents when I buy the 24 pack. 
He's got a pencil pouch filled with eight pencils, four sharpened number twos, and then four patterned with little animals and, and such. And two pens, a blue and a black, and then there's another um, novelty pen in there. It's a rabbit. I got that last year at Walmart after Easter clearance. I think it was nine cents for two of them. And then there are a couple of um, pencil sharpeners, a pink eraser, and three insect erasers, glue stick, and a um, pair of scissors. So that's his pencil pack. And then he's got these like raised bubble stickers. These are turtles from the Dollar Tree, a buck. And this, this is what started the whole wanting to do a reptiles theme. This is like a 3D reptiles ruler. I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar last year sometime. I want to say it was last year. It could have even been the year before. I've had it for a while, but it's perfect for this shoebox. And he's also got four sheets of just animal stickers. There's reptiles on every one of them, but mostly other different kinds of animals. And the last thing in the box is this reptiles pop-up book, which is really cute. Now, normally, I put a board book in a toddler box, but I was thinking this might be a little bit too scary for a toddler with, you know, the jaws of an alligator and then this frilled neck lizard. Snapping turtle is the least scary and then the Komodo dragon. Not only that, but, you know, it goes perfect for this box since it's a reptiles box. So I think a five to nine year old boy who's never had a picture book before or never seen a picture book and, um, or have never seen the pop-ups before, I think he, he could enjoy this as well. So tell me if I'm wrong, if you think this is too juvenile for this five to nine, because I can take it out, but right now it's in there. So that completes the little boy five to nine reptile shoe box. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some ideas and inspiration for your shoe boxes. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.